Hi, this is Shashi Shekhar, welcoming you back on our Booklicious podcast. Today is Motivational Monday and today we have bought you a book, How to Keep House While Drowning, A Gentle Approach to Cleaning and Organizing by Casey Davis. As the title suggests, this book is all about cleaning and organizing your home, but with a gentle approach that doesn't leave you feeling overwhelmed or drowning in your own mess. Casey Davis is a professional organizer who has helped many people transform their homes into comfortable and functional spaces. And in this book, she shares her tips and tricks to make cleaning and organizing more manageable. One thing I appreciated about this book is that it's not just a list of cleaning hacks and organizational tips. Instead, Davis take a holistic approach recognizing that our physical environment is deeply connected to our mental and emotional well-being. She discusses how clutter and disorganization can contribute to feeling of stress and anxiety and offer strategies to help readers create a space that promotes calm and relaxation. One of the main themes throughout the book is the idea that small constant actions can lead to big results. Davis emphasizes the importance of creating a cleaning routine that works for you rather than trying to follow someone else's strict guidelines. She encourages readers to start small, tackling one area of the home at a time and celebrating each small victory along the way. Another aspect of the book that I found helpful was Davis' emphasis on the importance of self-care she recognizes that cleaning and organizing can be emotionally and physically taxing and offers suggestions for taking breaks, rewarding yourself and asking for help when you need it. Overall, How to Keep House While Drowning is a practical and compassionate guide to cleaning and organizing your home. Whether you are a need freak or self-proclaimed slob, this book has something to offer. I highly recommend it to anyone looking to create a more comfortable and functional living space while also taking care of their own well-being. Thanks for listening to this podcast. We hope you like this review of book How to Keep House While Drowning. Don't forget to subscribe our channel so you don't miss any upcoming reviews about books and comics. So see you in the next one.